Hi, I'm Sabrina, Training Manager at Scott Systems. I'm here in Lesson 1 of our Self-Paced Training Curriculum to introduce you to our training materials. Let's take a look. From our website, www.scottsystems.com, you can access the 10 lessons in the Self-Paced Training Curriculum to guide you on a logical path through our training program. Each lesson will discuss the areas of Max Tracks to learn and will list the training action items. Lesson 3, for example, talks about the Max Tracks workflow. There are action items for this lesson, including watching training videos. There's a training document to download and review, along with a live webinar to attend that will explain more about the Max Tracks workflow. The next lesson, Lesson 4, covers how to write a repair order with its own action items. Again, more training videos and a live webinar to attend. The webinars for lessons 4 through 10 are specifically for you to join and ask questions. Roll your mouse over and click to start the training video or click here to go to the upcoming webinar schedule to register for the next webinar. So lessons 3 through 10 have correlating daily live webinars that you can attend over a two week period to accompany your training process. Let's look into that a little bit more. On the self-paced training curriculum page, you can see lessons 3 through 10 have correlating live webinars for you to ask questions about the features you're learning about in the training videos. The webinars are daily on a morning track and an afternoon track, Monday through Thursday, for two weeks. The tracks start on alternating Mondays. The morning track, for example, would start on Monday, April 4th, and continue through Thursday, April 14th. The afternoon track would start on April 11th and continue on through the Thursday of the following week. And Fridays are open forum webinars to join and ask any question you like. Now you'll notice that there are not corresponding webinars for Lesson 1 and 2. This video is part of your work for Lesson 1, and Lesson 2 includes a one-on-one -on -one training session with a Scott Systems trainer to review your setups and max tracks, a very essential meeting to select the various workflow options to match your shop's needs. Let's look more into the items in Lesson 1. Lesson 1 is about learning how to use the self-paced training curriculum, including reviewing the Getting Started Guide, probably the most important training tool of all. This Getting Started Guide serves as a roadmap to take you through the steps needed to obtain a trial or practice version of max tracks, set up max tracks, and much, much more. See the max tracks training tools review training video, which will explain how to use the Getting Started Guide, the user manual, and the various ways to contact Scott Systems for technical assistance. Now let's get back to the training format for lessons three through 10, which is to first watch the videos, then attend a live webinar. So let's look again at lesson three. Now the video training is an essential part of your learning process. This is where most of the work is done. Our trainers ask that you view the training videos before each live webinar, or if you decide on using the one-on-one -on -one training sessions, before each training session to get the most out of that training session. The idea is to familiarize yourself with that feature before the webinar or the training session, and then ask questions about that feature to better understand how the feature works, or get some ideas on how best to apply that feature rather than just spend the webinar or training session showing you how the feature works. Now to register for a webinar, click on the Schedule of Upcoming Webinars link up here, or click on this link and notice an underline appears once you mouse over it, click, and you'll be taken to that page. Upcoming webinars are listed below. Again, mouse over the name and the underlying link appears, click, and here you register for that webinar. A description of the webinar is listed above. Just enter your information here, choose an answer to the question below, and click register now. You'll receive a registration email immediately, and if you sign up for a couple of webinars ahead of time, you'll receive a reminder email two days ahead, one day ahead, and one hour ahead of each webinar start time. Just click on the link in that email you receive to join the live webinar. Now you'll have the option to listen to the webinar with speakers and a microphone or use the telephone to call into the conference call. 
We ask that all attendees select to use a telephone and call into the conference call to prevent feedback and minimize background noise from air guns, that kind of thing. However, if you have a headset with microphones and you're in a quiet area, that's fine too. And remember, if you have hold music, please be sure to mute yourself on the webinar, then put the conference on hold so that the music doesn't go into the conference and it happens all the time. The key to your success in using MaxTrax to run your business is a practice you put in ahead of time. As I tell all my trainees, you need to be able to work on the service counter and write an RO well enough to have a line of customers standing in front of you before I would recommend you go live with MaxTrax. The practice version is really invaluable. Now, these training tools are available to you. We recommend that you use them, but the time and the effort has to come from you. I started using MaxTrax myself without this kind of training and practice a few years ago. And boy, oh boy, was I overwhelmed. It was not a good experience. Hence, we've invested in all these training tools to ensure that your implementation of MaxTrax is as smooth as possible. I've personally found all of the other features in the program, like the accounting, the daily sales report, you can pretty much learn as you go. But you should make yourself familiar with these features as well before you go live to use MaxTrax to run your business. I look forward to working with you.